CA Service Desk Manager is an integral part of the CA Service Management solution that enables you to deliver efficiencies in IT service management. Through CA Service Management, you can implement CA SDM capabilities such as incident and request management, change management, configuration management, knowledge management, and support automation. CA Service Desk Management can be installed using two different configurations conventional or advanced availability. The conventional configuration includes a primary server which acts as the main server for SDM functionality, a supporting database and optional secondary servers which provide support to the primary server in those environments that might have a large number of users that will be accessing SDM on a regular basis or in those environments where business operations and supported users are widely dispersed. Advanced availability is the second configuration option. This configuration supports those environments where SDM operations are deemed critical and continual availability of SDM operations is a requirement. In this video, you will learn how to install CA Service Desk Management using the conventional configuration. The conventional configuration includes a primary server, a database, and one or more secondary servers. For this demonstration, the Service Desk Manager will be installed on the primary server and the CMDB Visualizer and Federated Search options will be installed on the secondary server. On the primary server, right-click on the Setup file and select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language. For this demonstration, select English and click Next. Select CA Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. This allows you to install the products such as CA Service Desk Manager, CA Service Catalog, CA Asset Portfolio Management and Unified Self-Service which are part of the CA Service Management solution. Scroll down to review the license agreement and then select the option I accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next to continue the installation. CA Service Management supports Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle databases. The database must be installed and configured on a separate server before you install CA Service Management. Let us now select the database in the Database Configuration screen. Let us review the information you need to provide here. Let us select Microsoft SQL Server as the database. Here. Database Server is the host name of the database server based on where you installed your database. Database Name specifies the database name of the target DBMS used by Service Management. The default value is MDB. Database Port specifies the port identifier for the target DBMS. Database Server Instance is the database instance name. This is an optional field. Database Admin User is the admin user that has permission to create user and schema. By default, SA is the default value. Multiple CA applications can use the MDB. If the MDB is already installed, the installer will use the same MDB Admin User password for CA Service Management as was specified at the time of the MDB install. In this case, the MDB is not installed, hence you need to specify the password for the MDB admin user. Select the Server Installation option to install the Service Desk Manager. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Specify the Common Administrator details. These details will be configured with the CA Service Management installation. The default value is CASM Admin. Select the CA Service Desk Manager configuration type to Conventional. Let's select the server type as Primary Server. For this demonstration, select the required options to install along with the primary server. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager server details. Most of the settings on this screen will be set to default values. 
These values provide for communication between processes and components. Specify the privileged user details. This allows the user to log into CASDM. Click Next to accept the default CA Service Desk Manager optional component details. The settings on this screen provide port settings between the optional components listed. These components are selected on the CASDM product configuration screen. CASDM provides the tools to administer live assistance and develop automated tasks. This will help your enterprise reduce average support call duration and overall support costs. Let's see how you can specify the required information to configure support automation with the CA Service Desk Manager. If you select the main server configuration type, the support automation main server will be configured in standalone mode. The host name or IP field defaults to the local host name. All parameters must be provided for the main server except the bind to IP in socket server section which are optional. Review the pre-installation configuration summary and then click Next. Click Install to start the installation. Once the installation progress has completed, click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation process. You have now set up the primary server. Let's go ahead and set up the secondary server for CA Service Desk Manager. Secondary servers are used to address scaling, performance and throughput and availability requirements that relate to the solution architecture. On the server that will act as the secondary server, right-click on the setup file and select Run as Administrator to start the installation. Select the language for this demonstration, select English and click Next. Select CA Service Management in the Select the Required Installer screen. Accept the License Agreement and click Next. Select SQL Server in the Database Configuration screen. The database configuration details are specified here and click Next. You can observe the components of CA Service Management that are installed on the selected MDB. Click Next. Select the Server Installation option and click Next. Review the Installation Prerequisites report and click Next to proceed with the installation. Select the Server Type to Secondary Server and then for this demonstration select the CMDB Visualizer and Federated Search options to install on the Secondary Server. Federated Search extends the capabilities of the CASDM built-in knowledge base by augmenting the internal knowledge database with results available through external search engines. The CMDB Visualizer is used to provide a graphical overview of configuration items and their relationships. When including secondary servers as part of the SDM architecture, typically a reason for doing so is to maximize the performance of the primary server. Installing the Federated Search and CMDB Visualizer options on a secondary servers helps to achieve that goal. Provide the primary server hostname and click Next to continue. Click Next to accept the default configuration details for Federated Search and Visualizer. Review the pre-installation configuration summary. Click Next. Click Install to start the installation. When the installation progress has completed, click Next to continue. Click Finish to complete the installation process.